The Bucks returned to the practice field today for their fourth offseason workout. Much of the focus is on who's going to win that starting quarterback job, Baker Mayfield or Kyle Trask. Sports anchor Kyle Berger takes you to one buck place. All the buzz and all the predictions during the Bucks offseason is that Baker Mayfield will come in and be named the starting quarterback. Yeah, he has the pedigree, he has the experience, but don't count out Kyle Trask. Trask has yet to start a game in the NFL, mostly serving as a game day inactive behind Tom Brady last season. But the coaches have constantly praised Trask for getting better and throwing the ball with more conviction. Well, he's getting the reps. When you get more reps, you get more confidence, obviously. And rightfully so, with Tom there last year and Blaine there, he didn't get the reps he should get. He's getting a lot of reps right now. Since being drafted in the second round in 2021 out of Florida, this will be Trask's first true chance at playing time in the NFL. Going into my third year, uh, just feeling a lot more confident as a player. Uh, really been, you know, dialed in, off the field, uh, you know, whatever it is, like sleeping, eating habits, uh, just really trying to dial everything in and, you know, make the most of my opportunity. I would say he's uh, smarter. Smarter. Um, I remember facing him early on. You know, there's still some things he needs to work on, but like I feel like he's getting the game more mental wise. The Bucks are in a position to surprise people this season, and it's all going to come down to quarterback play under first year offensive coordinator Dave Canales. This new scheme allows you to get outside the pocket, use your legs more. Um, that's really exciting for me. You know, as a quarterback, anytime you get on the edge, um, you know, it's really exciting to. Anytime you can try to throw one on the run or get outside the pocket and make a play, you know, run for a first down or something like that. At this point in OTAs, Mayfield and Trask continue to evenly split first team reps. From an analyzing standpoint, again, it's, it's the grasp of the offense, it's the reading of the defense. It's not necessarily making the big play, but the right play. It will certainly be something to watch as the Bucks have six more of these voluntary practices before minicamp begins in two weeks. In Tampa, Kyla Berger, ABC Action News.